Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Back by popular demand. We're going to do a sentinel challenge real quick. We're going to start our timer when we get to a point where we have two sentinel call-in units. And we're going to see how many we can defeat within 10 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and do the math on that and see what that comes out to. So I'm just going to do the old-fashioned method of getting those sentinels. So, but instead of using this lovely staff... I'm going to go ahead and use one of my better weapons. We're going to use my multi-tool, my main multi-tool with the pulse spitter. This weapon does about 32,000 damage, not quite 33, with them sitting in these four wonderful little technology slots right here. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this and see how well we can do about defeating our sentinels. Now, granted, we can get a weapon with much more powerful wep uh, pardon me, a multi-tool with much more powerful weapons. We can use a neutron cannon, but there's just no fun in that. All right, let's get started. That always makes him very annoyed and calls him in. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of every unit here so we can get two of those triangular call-in units. So let's get started in wiping these guys out. Looks like they've already got themselves a one of those units. There we go. So we're going to leave the rest of these units here. And as you can see real quick... I don't have anything in my inventory. I'm just getting these things to start with. I have no Pugnium. I have no glass. Nothing. Okay, so we're just going to get this kit taken care of. This is level 4. This is going to pull in one of the small mechs. But we won't be able to get a second unit until later. Nice try, buddy. Anybody else? Oh, you, huh? Bye. That everybody? Yep, it is. So let's get m more towards the center of my area here. As we wait for the next version. Okay, now this is where it starts. As soon as we get to two units showing up, which should have been coming from that direction. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, we got to be careful. There's a second one. There's usually more. Let's go ahead and get down. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran out of ammo. Make sure we don't shoot that unit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we got two call-in units. So, we're going to start our timer right now. Ten minutes and counting. Whoop, don't want to shoot him. Who's next? Two more down. Feel like we got another unit here someplace. Want to pull them in so they don't get too far out. At some point, the walkers will come in. usually get called in as soon as we get rid of enough of the healing units. Yeah, we got another mech. How many calling units do we have? We do have just two still, don't we? 
Oh, hello. You got a little closer, did you? Oh, careful. Two minutes and counting. Right now. We're going to go ahead and take out a couple of the healing units. Because as we take them out... Should inspire the two-legged walker to come in. There it is. Heard that big kaboom? There he is. Oh, he's inside the base. Hey. You need to get off my base. <laughs> Ooh. I think I just blew up one of the call-in units. Gone. This is not a very happy base area. So we don't have two call-in units anymore, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem at the three-minute mark. Um, how come I missed him? There we go. There he is. Well, we already got a good amount of barrels, but unfortunately, without the second calling unit, this is going to slow down to a crawl. But for those who just want an easier time of it... I will clear these out. I think that leaves me with no one else except you. And we'll call it. So unfortunately, in less than five minutes... Wait, there's one more. There we go. And the network gets disabled. And that's in just five minutes. So let's check it out and see what it looks like in five minutes. And we'll use the laser. Looks like we got the walker brain already. Yep, he's gone. And 
And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reload at some point, and we'll try this one more time. The only problem about using the pulse spitter is that you tend to have the ricochet effect and not be able to see exactly who you're fighting against. So make sure we don't have any more units that we left out here. does not look like it. And in case you're wondering why I fight over here, it's because I'm protected by the weather. But get the benefits of having the weather here. Okay, that should do it. Let's take a look and see what we got. So it looks like this is what we ended up with. We got four of these. I got some walker brains out of it. That's not important. And here's how much pugnium we ended up with. And this will turn into, if we were to put it in our refiner, would give us about 277 nanites. Nothing special there. And what do we get out of these? And that should do it. Of course, most of this is just stuff that we can use. So we end up with these. These are worth 4,800 nanites, 480 each, as you can see. So between these and these, we've got, what, four, almost five, six, seven, the 600, 8,000 units right there, plus the other 277 in five minutes. So about, let's say, 8,200 nanites in five minutes. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and plus you get some money out of it as well, and that's pretty good. You know, you can, you can end up getting some credits. Now, a lot of folks know of other easier ways to get this done, and that's perfectly fine. You can get more nanites in other ways, but some ways are just more fun than others. So, anyway. That adds up to about 98,000 nanites in an hour. In an hour's worth of fighting. So close to 100,000, but that's a really rough estimate of how we're doing this. So let's go ahead and do this. You're gonna, it's gonna bother you when I do this, but watch this. Yep, I'm deleting them. I got plenty of these in stock, so it's not like I need them. Okay, so as you can see, nothing left. Well, let's go ahead and get this started one more time. Now, in order to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the save icon here. We have ourselves a restore point. We'll reload that restore point. And we'll go ahead and start this one more time. And let's see how we do. We'll go ahead and reset our counter, our timer, I should say, and we'll get this started. One more run. Again, we're going to do a 10 minute run and see how we do. Except this time, I think I'm going to switch weapons. We're going to switch over to the bolt caster. Less chance of destroying the unit behind it. There we go. And we're back. And as you can see, everything's all cleaned up. And our, yep, our Gravitino ball is back where it belongs. So let's go over to our multi-tool and clean it up a little bit. We're going to move all of these out of the way. Actually, let's get these all out to one side. All right, here we go. So we're up to about 30,000 now. But here's the thing that a lot of folks don't realize. Is these really have an impact on how much damage you can do. So 37, 517. 37, 492. Let's go over here. 34, 34, 35, 36, 36, 37, 504. That one doesn't really change position as long as he's within a good range of that one. 37, 504, 36, 36, 37, 517. 38, 893. So as you can see, this seems to be the best arrangement for this weapon. Immediately drops down 38, 906. Really? Let's 
fascinating. So putting it over here actually gives us a better impact on it. 38906 by being right there. Same thing. Okay. So it looks like we're going to keep with this arrangement of 38,000 damage with the with the with the uh, bolt caster. So we'll reload. We're all set. Let's get started, shall we? Gotta wonder where they show up. Showing up behind me again. Now the bolt caster is very fast. As you can see. I'll leave those. He's out there. Wants to come in, doesn't he? Ah, oh, he's in finally. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, so we'll go ahead. We went ahead and picked that up. All right, here we go. This is stage four coming in. It automatically starts at stage three because we're on an uh, aggressive planet. So let's see what we can do with stage four. There's, there he is already, huh? Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. We're going to take you out because we don't need any call-in units. Killed him before he could even get started. Got him. Anybody else? Anybody? No? Alright. Which way should we face this time? How about we face towards the main entrance over there? Come on in. Water's just fine. Alright, so we got three of the main units. We got one call-in unit. Let's go ahead and take them out. We want to take out all the units except for the call-in unit. Because as soon as we do that, he appears. Come on in. We got to wait for him to come in. Ooh, nice try, buddy. Oh, he jumped in. There's our two-legged walker. But we have yet to get a second call-in unit. Did I miss him? Oh, we do. We have a second call-in unit. All right. Let's start the timer. So we got two call-in units now. Just got to bring them back into the fold. And since they're not ricocheting, we can't accidentally hit the call-in units. Minute passed. And these units call in much faster than they ever have before. We 
We will accidentally be picking up units as we go. Careful. Just gonna keep it going. So we're just about coming up on three minutes here. And as long as you don't get distracted, like I did that one time by a ship flying overhead, you should be able to get quite a bit of units from this. I'm going to let them call those in over here. I want them to get closer. Yeah, the storms last a while around here. Oop, trying to get to the top of the wall there. I missed it. Yeah, I'll get up there sooner or later. I want to pull them in closer. Especially that calling unit over there. How am I missing you? Oh, hello there. Don't just fly right in front of your buddy. Okay, who's next? We can just keep this up all day. That's right. Captain America style, right? Okay, so we got call-in unit, call-in unit. So they're all out in front now. We're at the five-minute mark. What do you think? I think we've gotten a little bit further. We're going to find out, right? Like shooting... I was going to say fish in a barrel, but I don't know what you'd liken this to, really. were outmatched before they even spawned. That's an interesting, it's a little rotating dial at the top. Rotating little light. We are going to show you something here in just a moment. You heard by that explosion overhead, you see these nice ships flying in, and I'll show you something pretty neat. Oop, somebody shot me from over there. 
There we go. See these wonderful ships? Bet you didn't know you could shoot them. I don't know what else you can do with them, but you can shoot them. I think I just accidentally got a walker brain. Yeah, I did. What do you know? Almost fell behind. Again, I don't know what you can do with them. There you are. How are we doing? Seven and a half minutes. Don't shoot the ships flying overhead. Learn that the hard way. Those guys are getting a little too close down to the ground to be shooting at me here. They can easily get hit. Hey. So I think we've got quite the collection of barrels down here, don't you? Eight and a half minutes. We're almost there. Just because. You can actually elbow them if you really wanted to. Where did the other one go? Ten minutes. Time to shut them down. Okay, that should do it. So this is it. Okay. And unfortunately, we ticked off an animal. There we go. And we are disabled, so the timer stops. So about 10 minutes worth of damage we did here. Let's take a look at it. From a picture point of view. This gives you a rough idea of how much damage we did. There's only a couple barrels over there, but most everything is over here. Not a bad bit of work. So let's see how much actually that we got here. We're going to use our skull to get things done now. The 
cleanup process with the neutron cannon since it has an area of effect damage. Area effect damage tends to make the cleanup process much easier. It's kind of like the broom of weapons. But this is why also in nanite battles this is not the weapon to use because it causes too much area damage. Um, hello? There we go. Uh, somehow I got a barrel on a wall. Alright. Almost done. Alright, we take a look outside the walls, make sure we didn't miss anything. It'll look like a little, uh, gear. Doesn't look like we missed anything. Looks like, looks like we got everything here. Yep, sure enough. Alright. So let's see how much we ended up with, shall we? So this is what we ended up with. Minus the Strider Sausage. And the Gravitino Ball. We got four quad servos. We got over 4,530 uh, Pugnium. Which, if we put it in here, would net us about 181... That is 181 in nanites. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take these apart. We might jump around a little bit. That's okay. We're mostly interested in the upgrades. It is random whether you're going to get an upgrade or not. Or just money. Okay. Let's move all the money out of the way and take a look at what we got left. This is all money. And these are the upgrades that we ended up with. So what do we got? We got... Three sets of 4,800. So, you know, we're going to just pull out the old trusty dusty little uh, calculator here. So 4,800 times 3. 14,400. We've got another 3360. And what's next to that? 2400. And what do we have left? Is the. Nope, nope, that's it. That's it. Which is going to equal. Twenty thousand one hundred and sixty nanites plus the original one hundred and eighty. Twenty thousand three hundred and forty one is what we've got. So twenty thousand three hundred and forty one. Now we did this for ten minutes. And time six is going to give us one hundred and twenty two thousand nanites. If you keep at it and keep steady, 122,000 nanites we just made. Literally, we just made, obviously, uh, less than that. We made, uh, you know, 20,000 in just 10 minutes worth of playing here. So that is an incredible amount of money that you could, or pardon me, nanites that you can make within a, within a one hour time, time frame. 120,000. 120,000. I keep thinking about that because I cannot believe that it turned out to be that many. So with the amount of damage we can do and the fact that they've upgraded the call-in units to pull in more, more uh, uh, sentinels in a faster rate, it really works out really well. So there you are. 120,000 nanites in an hour. So I want to thank you all for watching. What an incredible amount that you could possibly get out of all this, if you wish. And that's up to you. Now, like I said, this is the fun way to do it. 
but there are other ways to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. It always helps. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video during the holiday season. Take care, everybody. Bye now.